While I had set the body aside to dry for a couple of days after the final clear coat was applied, I of course moved on to the next stage in the build, and in this case that is the interior. All the parts were cut out from the sprues, some were glued together if they could, and I also filled a couple of seams in the headrests. They were then just all primed with one or two light coats, and then I moved on to applying the first base color. In this case, after playing with the Porsche Panamera configurator for a couple of minutes, I decided to go with a nice cream. This suited the body color really nice, and I kind of like the overall look with the dark wheels I'm going to be using from USCP, and then I just started applying it. In this case, since I'm not going to go for a dark interior, I'm not going to go for a dark headliner either, so I just mapped the outside of the body off and painted the inside of the headliner in the same color as I did with the seats and the rest of the interior parts. I did want to add a couple of dark spots on the interior like the steering wheel, the steering column, uh, the shifter and even the top of the dashboard and also some parts of the door cards so a couple of these parts and pieces were masked off and then I could just move on to painting those matte black areas. painting was done, all the parts were unmasked, so I could move on to applying a couple of decals here and there before adding some more details with some paints. So I applied some decal setting solution underneath the decals to help them set, stick and even form a little to the parts and then just placed all the decals. The kit does not supply decals for all the trim parts and pieces, so I decided to make my own. Just applied some Kip masking tape, you could use any masking tape you would like to use. Some Tumia is good as well, others I don't know, but I just prefer these. Onto those parts, then cut them out to the exact shape, transfer them to the carbon fiber decals I will be using from Skill Production, and then I could just cut them all out nicely along the border of the masking tape, remove the masking tape, put them in some water, and then just gently form them after placing them with some decal setting solution and even some decal sol for the solution to form it a bit better. All this was done in the regular fashion. I have a couple of videos for this on my channel, so if you would like to see those, just go out and check my tutorial section. With the decals now all nicely conformed to the shapes of the parts, I moved on to adding some more details here and there with some silver paints and also some black, using some of my Tamiya brushes which I really like for these small details and also some of the bigger ones for the bigger areas. If you are interested in some of the tools I use and also want to know more about other tools I have and use regularly, I have links to all of those tools down below.
painting a couple more details on here and there, I could move on to applying the final decals for the interior to finish all the detailing off. Decals and details are now all done, so pretty much all that was missing was some carpet. So I just applied some Humbrol Enamel Black as a base and a glue, and then just put the flocking on top. After that, I applied a couple of seat belts, and then everything could be assembled with some super glue. And that's it for the interior. In the next video, I will be moving on to doing some chassis modifications, adding the new wheels, even finishing up a couple of parts on the body, and maybe even finishing the entire build.